Look, dudes, in this video, I'm gonna show you what's a minimum first aid kit for home and for how much these days you can compose in Russia. These days, I mean, in November 2022, after already almost nine months of unprecedented sanctions. And uh, for that, I'm gonna go to that pharmacy. It's called Peterborski Apteki. It's located on the corner of Nevsky Prospect and Sadove Garden Street. My name is Sergey Baklakov. This is Baklakov Live. I've got a whole bag of medicines. Now, before we will begin the review, uh, I think it's pretty curious to tell you that absolutely all medications that I have purchased today and that we will see now, I've purchased without the prescriptions from the doctors because just according to the Russian pharmacy laws, um, it's just not required for all of this medications that we will see now. I sorted out all the medications here by the groups and let's begin with the heads and then we'll go lower the heads, the headache. And here we're beginning with two absolute classics, paracetamol, which is also known as Tylenol and uh, Panadol. And that was first made yet in uh, uh, 1877 or possibly even 1852 and Acetyl salicylic acids, acetyl salicylic acids. Whoa, no wonder the Bayer company, which is which is created as yet in 1897, named it just aspirin and uh, sold to the whole world. It is one of the most widely used medications globally with uh, an estimated 50 to 120 billion pills consumed each year. Both paracetamol and aspirin are on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines and both Paracetamol and aspirin in Russia now as cheap as 40 cents each. Price and eye drops, and we begin with levomethacin for 40 cents, which is actually a chloramphenicol. It's an antibiotic useful for the treatments of a number of bacterial infections. This includes a use as an eye ointment to treat conjunctivitis. Chloramphenicol was discovered in 1947. Its chemical structure was identified and uh, it was first synthesized in 1949. And also for the ice goods, taurine, or in Russian language, taurine. Taurine for 50 cents. And sulfacetamide, sulfacetamide in drops for 70 cents. It's here. It's curious that uh, levomethacin being an antibiotic, if you will buy this in pills, they will not sell it to you without the prescription, but antibiotic as an eye drops are okay. Ears and here borne kislata, boric acids can help us. It goes as a good antiseptic. For ears, you can take a cotton wool, absorb it with boric acids, and put it into your ear. The price is 24 rubles, which is like 40 cents today, produced in Russia by Hippocrates Company. Now, rhinitis, or just uh, the nose. And here, nephtizin. Nephtizin can help us. It's alpha adrenergic stimulants which uh, has a rapid and prolonged 
was a constructive effect on the vessels of the nasal mucosa reduces swelling, hyperemia, exudation, the lips, yeah, I mean herpes. And here we address to a ciclovir, also known as Zovirax I paid 90 cents for. It's uh, the antiviral medication. It's primarily used for the treatments of herpes simplex virus infections, chickenpox and shingles. It can be taken by mouth, like here, and pills applied as a cream or injected. The throat. You can start treating it with also paracetamol and aspirin, but also here you can join the tincture of eucalyptus, the tincture of eucalyptus and uh, strepsils, strepsils that has been produced since 1958 and contain two active ingredients, namely amyl metacrizole and 2.5 dichlorobenzyl alcohol. These ingredients are mild antiseptics that can kill bacteria associated with mouth and throat infections. I've purchased it for the price of four bucks. What else is in our mouth? Oh yeah, teeth. So toothache or dental pain. Here where analgin for one dollar can help us. Analgin and the world more known as metamizole or dipyron, a painkiller, spasm reliever and fever reliever that also has an anti-inflammatory effect. It was patented in 1922 and first used medically in Germany under the brand name Novolgin. You can also use ibu or ibuprofen, also known as Advil or Motrin. It's a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that is used for treating pain, fever, inflammation. It typically begins working with an hour. The price is 44 rubles, which is about 70 cents. For heartache, here is another set of medications I recently purchased. Let's begin with Volidol or Volidolum in such a, uh, you know, simplest edition without the pack for only 85 cents. Volidol, also known as menthyl isovalerate, because in fact it is the menthyl ester and isovaleric acids. It is widely presented in the former Soviet Union countries. But I think nitroglycerin, also known as glyceryl trinitrate, I think more popular in the world. It's a medication used for heart failure, high blood pressure, painful periods, and to treat and prevent chest pain caused by decreased blood flow to the heart. It came into medical use in uh, 1878. So it's another good classic uh, from the World Health Organization list of essential medicines. That's how nitroglycerin pills looks like. Usually you lay it under the tongue. Corvalol, the tranquilizer based on the herb, valerian roots, as well peppermint oil, hope extract, humulus lapulus, and the barbiturate phenobarbital. It's popular in Eastern Europe and uh, the former Soviet Union as a heart medication. Look, Corvalol. Um, it, it was developed in USSR in 1960s as an analog of the German drug Valocordine. The price is 70 cents. Now this is Bayarishnik, Nastoyka Bayarishnika, the tincture of Crete gas, commonly called Hawthorn, Quickthorn, Thorn Apple, May Tree, White Thorn, Mayflower or Hallberry and Nastoika Valeriane, the tincture of valerian for 70 cents. Crude extracts of valerian roots may have sedative and uh, anxiolytic effects.
gastrointestinal tracts. Here are the medications for prophylaxis, for diarrhea, and for vice versa, constipation. For prophylaxis, just take pancreatine, also known as creon. It's only 80 cents here. In simple words, uh, this is the ferments. Ferments for your digesting, better digesting. You just take uh, some pills before greasy and heavy foods. And if, if, if you know that you have problems eating that foods, and uh, this is to prevent that. In order, if however, you're getting a problem like diarrhea, you can take the activated charcoal, also known as an activated carbon. It is literally the pills, which are consisted of carbon and charcoal. And uh, it have a uh, huge adsorption properties. That's why they are pretty used against diarrhea. It's literally, yeah, it's literally the, uh, the coal, okay? I was taking it and uh, yeah, it really helps, but you know, uh, sorry for these details, but then your crap is like also all black. Another option is Loperamid. Loperamid for 20 cents, which is also known under brand name Imodium, just as such a capsules. Another thing that can help you is Semecta or Diosmectides. It's a powder, a uh, natural silicates of aluminium and uh, magnesium used in, um, as an intestinal adsorbent in the treatments of several gastrointestinal diseases, including infectious and non-infections. The price of this pack is 290, one of the most expensive medications here. In case of opposite to diarrhea, you've got a constipation, then here comes bisacodyl. Bisacodyl, an organic compound that is used as a stimulant, laxative drug, also known as Duralax, Maxol, Fleet, Nurilax, um, Corrictol, and even Carter's little pills, such a round yellow pills. In case of the general pain, here comes Noshpa or Drotavirine. It has a spasmolytic myotropic vasodilation and uh, hypotensive action. They charge me $2 for Noshpa. While temperature again and again, good old paracetamol and aspirin, but also Nurofen for $1.20 and Citramon for only 40 cents. Citramon. Against the allergy that is suprastin or suprastin, also known as uh, chlorapyramine. It's a classical first generation antihistamine drug approved in Eastern European countries and in Russia for the treatments of allergic, bronchial asthma, and other atopic conditions. The price is only 190 while colds and flu efferal gun produced by the French company Oopsa. Maybe that's why out of all the medications here, it's uh, the most expensive. It is three bucks now here in Russia. For processing of scars, cuts and stuff like that, here are the antiseptics. Brilliant green, which in Russia just called Zelenka for 20 cents, iodine for 80 cents, and uh, hydrogen peroxide for 20 cents too. Finally, here are some non-chemical accessories, the regular bandage, elastic bandage, tourniquets, stick and plaster, cotton wool, some syringes, and uh, Stereal gloves. So this was my home first aid kits I composed today and now in the end of the video I'm just gonna show you the receipts from the pharmacy um, 
how much I've paid for it all. What a mess. Now, yes, I will need to put it all back into the packs. Okay, so uh, this is the receipts. You can see the scan of these receipts on my Telegram channel, which is Buckluck of Life. The link in the description below. Uh, but, well, here is the final price, which is 2,416 rubles 90 kopecks according to today's exchange rates that is 39 bucks okay dudes if you enjoyed the video you know what to do my name is sergey baklikov this is baklikov life now we'll take care about this mess and see you later bye